Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you guys today. So, um, today's topic was requested um, by Somewhere in Time, that is their name. Um, the question that they asked was, should I leave my current relationship for a new person coming in? Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about. Um, this reading is assuming that you are already um, committed to someone. Um, I will be doing a reading about who should I choose for those of you who are technically single and might have uh, more than one option. Um, so that will be coming soon, um, but today we're talking about should I stay with my current partner or not. Um, so thank you so much, Somewhere in Time, for that request. Um, we've got three options to choose from. We have Pile 1, 2, and 3. Pile 1 is the um, Aura Quartz. Pile 2 is Bloodstone. And Pile 3 is Orange Calcite. So I will give you guys a minute to think about which pile you're going to choose, and then we will get started, okay? I did make a post announcing my Patreon page. If you haven't seen that, go to the community tab on my channel and check that out. I will have a link in that post to my Patreon, and I'll probably have a link to it um, in the description box as well. Um, so you can look at that if you're interested. I am going to be operating a blog on there where I'm going to be talking about uh, tarot and the occult and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then we will also have exclusive readings uploaded to Patreon a couple of times a month um, and some other stuff for those of you who are interested. If you don't care about that, that's fine too. Uh, just stick around. So um, we are going to go ahead and get started now with pile number one. Let's see. Should you stay in your current relationship or try out someone new? All right, so let's see what cards you have. We've got you're very close to achieving your goal. We have not the right time. We have remain positive. Chaos and conflict reversed. And we have the Four of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. So, what I am getting from these cards here is that... So, the, the, the predominant energy of this spread here is very inactive, okay? We've got the Four of Swords, which talks about rest. It talks about contemplation, taking a break, taking a step back from something. Um, and then we also have the Queen of Pentacles, which is a very stable, secure kind of energy. Um, it's Earth energy, which is um, pretty immovable. Uh, we also have Chaos and Conflict reversed. Now, in the reverse position, this card really has an opposite meaning. It talks more about order and stability. Um, we also have not the right time, which, given this energy of inaction, I feel as though what they're saying is that you should remain where you are. Um, I'm feeling like it is not the right time for you to walk away from your current relationship. Um, that time might come in the future, but that time, it, I think, is not now. Um, I feel like if you're considering leaving because things are not looking good right now, the outlook is not super great in this relationship, I feel like things are going to improve because we have the Remain Positive card. Um, we also have your Very Close to Achieving Your Goal, which this doesn't have to be about like a specific goal that you're after. Um, in this case, it's more just a message that... I feel like you're on the verge of a breakthrough or your your relationship is about to turn a corner for the better, so to speak. Um, I hope that makes sense. But I feel like 
things are going to improve for you guys in your current relationship and so you probably don't want to walk away from it just yet okay um hmm I want to pull some cards from this deck and see if there's anything else that they want to add what other messages do we have for group one yeah we have the knight of wands we have the six of pentacles and let's see what else can i get one more The Six of Swords, right, okay. So, um, with the Six of Pentacles, this card is about balance, uh, it's about reciprocation, equal give and take. So if your relationship right now is not super balanced, if one person is putting forth a lot more effort than the other person, then I feel like it will balance out um, fairly soon, okay? Um, so just hang in there. Uh, if you want to, of course. I don't want you guys to do anything just because I told you to. Um, you know, it's your life, whatever. But, um, the cards are suggesting that you just stick it out for a bit. Um, the Six of Swords, this card really speaks of reconciliation. So, you know, even if you're technically still with somebody, you can still, um, you know, have ups and downs that you need to kind of reconcile from. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, so again, I'm getting that things between you and your current partner might not be super great right now. You might be on a downswing in your relationship, but I feel like it's going to come together again and it's things are really going to settle down. Um, also with the Knight of Wands being here, this is telling me that um, there will be some movement forward coming pretty soon. Also, if um, things have died down a lot in terms of, like, intimacy, that kind of thing, I feel like there's going to be a, a rekindling of that energy uh, fairly soon. So that's something to think about as well. It, overall, Pile 1, I feel like the message for you is that you need to stay where you are, okay? So, Pile 1... That is your reading. I hope that it resonates with you and I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments and I hope that I see you guys next time. We are going to move on now to pile number two, which was Bloodstone. So let's see what cards you have. We have Believe in the Impossible, Look for a Sign, Take Action. A change in the wind, all that glitters, two of swords, and the strength card. Okay, so, um, we've got two cards here that really speak of movement. A change in the wind and take action. Change in the wind is fairly self-explanatory. It talks about changes coming. There are changes that are inevitable or something needs to change. Um, and take action talks about taking action, right? Um, movement. So right away, I want to say that if somebody else has come along that you feel very connected to, um, I think it might do you good to break away from your current relationship um, and get involved with this new individual. Um, because what I'm getting here is that your current partner might not be the person that you originally thought that they were, or your current relationship might not be what you expected it to be. Um, all that glitters, this card basically talks about the, um, not being able to see the reality of the situation. It's like the the expression, all that glitters is not gold, uh, good old uh, Shakespeare. Um, but I feel like you have experienced some disappointment um, in your current relationship and that's probably why you are 
looking outside. Um, with this card, look for a sign. I feel as though you have been kind of looking for a way out of this for a, a little while now. Um, and you may have started to think that you're never going to be able to get out of this relationship or you might have started to think like I'm never going to find somebody else so I should just stay where I am. Um, believe in the impossible. This card tells me that you know, if you're having those kinds of thoughts, that's not true. Um, and if you're watching this, then presumably you have already met another person that you're interested in. So you do have other options available. Um, but we also have the Two of Swords here. This card talks about, like, indecision, um, not being able to make a choice about something. Uh, this could be... I'm seeing this as you um, being kind of stuck between staying and leaving, staying and leaving. Should I stay or should I go? Should I, you know, stick this out or should I move on? Um, you being, you being unable to make that choice. Um, with the strength card though, this card is about overcoming obstacles. It's about finding strength and courage within yourself to do what you know you need to do. And so I think that what you need to do in this case is to move forward. Um, I really feel like your current relationship, um, for most of you is not maybe not the healthiest, um, and I feel like you know that. If that doesn't resonate with you, though, then this probably isn't your reading, because the energy that I'm feeling very strongly is one of, it's, it's kind of toxic uh, to some extent. So if that's not what your current relationship is like, you know, if, if you feel um, very happy in your current relationship, then I, I don't think this was your reading. Um, so I feel like you know, based on what these cards are saying, I think that if you want to uh, get involved with someone new and leave your current relationship behind, I think you should totally do that. And there's the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords popped out for group one, too. Um, Six of Swords typically talks about reconciliation. Um, however, in this case, the, um, the movement slash travel uh, interpretation is really applying here. So this is basically just saying, like, you need to hop in your boat and move on. Um, stop overthinking this, okay? Um, just take action, okay? And with this card, this card is about, like, conflict and competition. I think that leaving is going to create some conflict, but I feel like it will be worth it in the end um, because I just really feel like you guys aren't very happy in your current relationship and you deserve to be happy, right? Um, so pile two, that is your reading. I hope that resonated with you and I hope you enjoyed. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, Group number three, these are short readings today. We have Calcite. All right, let's see what cards you have, if I could grab them. All right, we've got, look at the bigger picture. We have Romance. We have Opportunity. TikTok. The Fool. And The Lovers. Okay. So guys, the first two readings had pretty clear-cut answers to me. This one is a little bit more um, open to interpretation, and I feel like it's... Okay, what I'm getting from, from these cards is that... For the majority of you who picked this pile, the answer is you should probably move on from your current relationship. Let me pull out some, some clarifiers really quickly, okay? Just because I, I don't want to start talking about something and then start, like, getting something totally different. Um, that's too many cards. That's the message here for pile three. We have the King of Wands. We have... The Nine of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and there's the Three of Pentacles. 
I kind of feel like whoever the other person is in this situation, it's somebody that you, I think I bumped the mic, I'm sorry, um, it's somebody that you already have some history with. Um, and so I feel like that could be why they are looking so appealing to you because you've known them before and maybe you had a lot of feelings for them in the past and now they've popped back up in your life and you're kind of like, oh my god, you know, I can't believe you're back, I really missed you, this is seeming to you like a great opportunity to get with this person, um, but the problem is, you know, you're already um, involved with someone. So, you have this decision to make with the lover's card. Do you, you know, stick to your commitment to the person you're with now, or do you walk away and seize this opportunity with this person that you have kind of been longing for, I feel like? I think you're having a lot of anxiety about this because which which is understandable because I think that you love both of these people and so you're kind of torn about what you should do um, with the TikTok card being here this does make me feel this does make me feel like um, there could be some uh, I, I mean this card talks about like divine guidance and fate and that kind of thing so there does seem to be a soul connection, I think, with one of these people, probably the person that's just popped back up. Um, and so now you're kind of feeling like you're running out of time, like you have to take this opportunity or you might lose them again. With the, um, look at the bigger picture card, what this is really telling me is that what you need to do in this situation is listen to your intu intuition, listen to your inner voice, ask yourself, what am I, what is going to make me happiest? What is going to serve my highest good? Which of these people, which of these relationships is going to serve my highest good? And I feel like you really just need to go with your gut on this one. Um, like I said, for some of you, I feel like it's it's split. It's like, I feel for, for about three quarters of you watching, the answer is to move forward with the Fool card being here. This is about a new beginning, right? Um, for the other, like, quarter of you, the answer is probably going to be to stick with your current partner. Um, and I feel like knowing which of those groups you fall into is really just a matter of what does your gut tell you, you know? Um, why is the, okay, why is the King of Wands here? Oops. For some of you, your current relationship will be undergoing a transformation, so if you're not 100% happy in that, then things are going to change, things are going to balance out and stabilize and become more equal. Um, and with the King of Wands and the Hierophant card, it's kind of like you're already with the person that's going to make you happiest, okay? But like I said, this particular message is for maybe a quarter of you watching, and the other three quarters of you, I really feel like the best thing to do is going to be to just take a leap of faith, take the risk, and try try it out with this other person. I, I know that might not be super helpful, but... Um, that's the message that I'm getting here. I feel like even if you don't go with this new person, I 
think you will have another opportunity at some point in the future. Um, because just, I think the nature of your connection is just one of those things where you're always going to be put back on one another's paths. So if you don't, even if you don't um, feel comfortable taking this risk with this other person, I feel like you will have another opportunity to do that at some point down the road. So that's something to keep in mind too. Of course, this is just general, so take what applies to you, take what resonates with you, and leave the rest behind. Um, that's really all the messages that I've got for you today, group three. I know, again, this probably um, wasn't super specific, uh, but I hope you found it helpful anyway. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that it resonated with you. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I'm always interested. And as always, if you have suggestions or requests for future readings, leave those in the comments as well. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye!